Those mammoths were fighting something over there, and I don't know exactly what. So that concerns me a bit. Doesn't look like you're balled up, buddy. Yes! Howdy, folks, and welcome back to Modded Ark Adventures. We're here with Woodpecker. Hello, Woodpecker. And, um, folks, I think we found the home of our PvE base. I was just getting a, a tour as well by Little Eagle. He was taking me around, showing me some places that uh, he thought would be cool for bases. But I stumbled across this place, which um, the, the map is not exactly aligned, but it's down here on the bottom, the bottom, I guess, continent, I guess you'd call it, because it's a big island portion, on the eastern side. And I just love... Hello, Bronto, knocking down trees. Um, this little beach, but more importantly, this little valley here, this little like meadow thing here with these burnt trees and the, uh, it's a little foggy right now. So it's not as beautiful as, as when it's not foggy guys, but you got to trust me. This is going to look beautiful. And I was telling little Eagle that this reminded me so much of visiting Yellowstone, uh, which I have done. Uh, uh, I did a few years back with my son and, and we just had a great time, uh, touring the park and it kind of looks a little bit like it with the mountains in the background and these trees and this this meadowy area, this grassy area, and the water as well. So ah, it's just really cool. So I think once the fog clears, I'll give you guys a better view of this, and then we'll begin doing a little bit of foundation laying and see if we can uh, start the process of our PVE, our, our main home, build. Okay, now that the fog is gone, you might be able to see this a little bit better. This is a cool little, like, valley here. Now, the shore is over here. This is like one of the main bodies of water back here, and this is kind of a sandy beach, and then it comes up into the woods and goes up over this little ridge and down into this little valley, meadow, whatever you want to call it. It goes down to that beach, like I said. And I'm thinking in this big flat space here, kind of where I put this tower, just to kind of indicate that I was planning on building here, I'm thinking of doing something... You know how I said this kind of reminded me of Yellowstone? So I'm thinking of doing almost something inspired by a national park, a U.S. national park. So it's going to be a lot of wood and stone uh, construction, I think. Uh, lodge is going to kind of look like a lodge, maybe. Uh, I'm going to look through the mod construction materials, see if there's anything that might help it get that feel, which would be really cool. Otherwise, there'll be a lot of pillars, uh, stone pillars probably, and maybe a little bit of wood thrown in here, here and there. But, uh, you know, wood walls, wood, you know, wood ceiling, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Maybe stone ceiling, wood, maybe stone walls, wood ceiling. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but I'm going to do a big kind of lodge here. This is, again, my PvE base, so I'll keep my uh, my non-PvP dinos uh, here as well. So they'll have to have some kind of a dino pin as well. So we'll have the lodge. The dino pin will probably be in the back. And then out front, what I'm trying to do here, because of, again, the Yellowstone feel, I think I'm going to make a raised walkway like you see in Yellowstone. If you, if you do some Google searches on Yellowstone, you'll see a lot of them. Um, because the ground is so delicate, they have these raised walkways, these wooden uh, trails, basically, uh, that are raised that you're supposed to stay on. In fact, there's signs that say, do not get off the trail, and uh, you can get in trouble if you do. Uh, but I'm going to probably do one of those out all the way out here to the water, which I think would be really cool, and maybe connect it up with some sort of a water-based uh, pier or something. I don't even know how far out you have to go. <laughs> wow. Uh, to get the water deep enough to have water animals. There you go. There's a stingray, or a uh, manta, which is cool. I'm glad they're here, because I, I do want to tame one of those eventually, too. So this is really cool. I guess I'll go way out here with the with the pier system. So this, this will be all pretty awesome, guys. So I'm going to gather a whole bunch of resources. I put a couple of chests over here. Um, woodpeckers over here keeping it company. And I've moved a whole bunch of stuff from my uh, starter base. Uh, you know, I'll leave the starter base there, but I uh, most of the materials I'm going to... Okay, that was a nice bit of uh, that was <laughs> that was a server log that happens when it's uh, when it's saving the the map, so saving the world. Uh, so that's fine. I'm used to that. Uh, but I have some materials here, but there's more back there. I'm going to bring it, and then of course I'm going to harvest a whole bunch of materials here as well. Um, I, I hit a couple of drops, got some cool stuff, got some C4 in a drop. But one of the drops gave me a blueprint for an ascendant metal hatchet. We're going to have to make one of those, and uh, they actually gave you the bare ingredients for a. Uh, Species X turret as well. Turret? Did I say turret? I don't pronounce it that way. Turret. Uh, so that would be kind of fun to set up. Uh, I don't know that there's too many dangerous animals here. I've noticed that the most dangerous thing I've, I've come across is a dilo. 
And uh, and that's pretty much it. You see Ovi Raptors out there. There's one running away out there. Lots of Pteranodons, some turtles, a Bronto that I accidentally peeved off a minute ago and had to run away so it wouldn't kill me. Um, and up the hill, and the good thing about this is that we're pretty close to this hill too because if you go up that hill, uh, do I still have my spot glass? Yes, I do. Uh, this hill right here is it, it seems to still be safe up to that hill. And then you go up that little hill, and there's another dip, and then there's a big mountain. And as you're heading up to that big mountain, there's RGs and, man, you scared me. When that head came in, just the front of that head, it almost looked like a T-Rex head. Whoa, boy. Uh, <laughs> stop doing that. Uh, there's RGs up there, so that's going to be great to uh, to find an RG and tame an RG. I imagine there's also wolves, and I imagine there's also saber tooth. You know, the, all the sorts of things you find, uh, maybe even mammoths that you find up on the uh, snowy mountains. So it's going to be pretty cool. Looking forward to this build. So let me go ahead and, and run back and pick up some stuff and then gather some resources and we'll start laying some foundations and see how things are go. Woohoo! Just tricked a, uh, got a red drop over here, tricked a couple of saber tooth to leave me alone by leading them away. And it uh, looked like there was something really cool in here. This is the Dead Island, by the way. I'll talk a little bit about where that is in location to where I am, but uh, let me look real quick. Oh, yeah. It seems in the reds, the red drops are getting Ascendant stuff. By the way, I also got an Ascendant long rifle and some tranquilizer darts, but an Ascendant fabricated sniper with some bullets. Oh, baby. That's awesome. It's going to be fun. All right, so this is the Dead Island. It's it's the equivalent on the main island of that uh, northeast island, I guess. But it's all uh, sandy, uh, desert-like, and it's much bigger. Uh, many, many times bigger. But it's got the same critters you would expect on that island. It's got RGs and scorpions and carnos and rexes and raptors and saber tooth. So it's, uh, it's a great place to come train things up. If you look ahead of me, way out... Right across this body of water, straight across this... Uh, can't really tell with uh, a pteranodon, can we? Uh, straight across this body of water. <laughs> over there, that's my... Uh, that's where I'm building, right over there. So this is actually a fairly close... Uh, just jaunt across the water, and I, I, I looked around. I'm sure there might be a closer Stargate, but I looked around, and the closest Stargate I could easily find, and no always how to get to and, and straight off, straight to is the one right here on the edge up high here on the edge and by the way there's a lot of uh, metal and uh, obsidian here which is really cool uh, but there's a stargate right here and this is the one I've been using to go back and forth so we'll dial up uh, dial up the home the uh, safe place why am I not getting any addresses am I just not close enough what's going on here not getting any addresses am I lagging I'm probably lagging Yep, I was lagging. <laughs> Server lag, yay! All right, uh, the community center. Now, it's interesting, on, on my uh, Arc Adventures server, the one I'm hosting, I can actually exit this as I'm dialing and never have a problem. Here, sometimes I can exit while it's dialing and have no problem. Sometimes I can exit while it's dialing and it kind of freezes and just won't, it stops processing the gate coordinates. So, very strange. I'm pretty sure I picked the cavern, but it looks really weird. Oh, it is the cavern. Oh, and those <laughs> those animals I see out there are really literally outside the cavern because it hasn't drawn in the, the ceiling yet. It's awesome. It'll eventually snap in. There it goes. <laughs> so I'll go pick up the last of my stuff and, uh, and meet you guys back at the build site. You know, as I'm uh, running back and forth, breaking rocks. By the way, I'm leaving most of the rocks and trees out here because I want to leave them intact when I build. I'm doing that. I'm realizing, boy, it sure would be nice if I had a doty and a beaver. <laughs> maybe a moose. Hmm. Maybe we should do a little taming before we continue building. Let's think about that. Okay. We're here. We've gathered a bunch of stuff. Now I looked, went looking for a dodicarus. Oh, I thought that might have been a carno. There's a carno as I was looking for the dodicarus going up them along these mountains. Couldn't find one anywhere. <laughs> Plenty of Yankees. Saw a carno up beyond that little ridge. Uh, so I was just worried that he might show up. But anyway, uh, I've been constructing stuff by hand. And I've got 55. Can I carry these? I can. Excellent. And a couple of doors. And so forth. All right. I think what we want to do is we want to lay the foundation. And my plan 
is that this pillar is kind of the back end, kind of the back porch of this facility, this lodge, I guess you'd call it, that we're going to make. And it's going to go this direction, and the front will be over here. So if that's the back porch, I'm going to use... I almost want to start at the water, but we'll start here instead. I don't want that to be... Do I want that to be sunken? Ooh, actually, I kind of do, because... Let's see. I want to go... If that's the center, I want to go seven wide, and I want to go seven deep, but in the front I want to do kind of a little funky thing. So I'll show you what I mean here. So we'll do two. I like how the pillar's making this sink down. I like that. I've never actually done that building, uh, constructing a building before. Oh, it might actually be vital because this looks like it's a, a gradual slope downward. So if we'd started up high, we probably would have been out of space already. So three, let's see if this will work. Four, uh-oh. Five, six, <laughs> seven. If it gets to the point where this thing's sticking above the ground, I wanted to go two more out here. I don't know that I can. I mean, I can, but what does it look like? Yeah, it looks okay. It looks okay. So what I wanted to do was, let's, this one and this one here. Let's come back out again. You're a nice color. Look at that thing. One of the mods here uh, applies unique colorations or bizarre colorations, unusual colorations to dinosaurs. So we've got uh, two this way, and I want to go three this way, right? Because we want to go seven wide, and then three more this way. Should have enough stone, assuming I don't screw anything up, we should have enough for everything I want to lay here for the foundations. And then one more. Okay, and then in front, instead of seven wide, I wanted to make the front kind of stick out a little bit. Have this little 3x3 three three, or 3x2 three kind of uh, uh, foyer, foyer, entryway, if you will. Not a porch. We're going to have a porch as well. This will be inside the house, inside the lodge. But it's going to be kind of an entryway uh, to the lodge. A grand entry. Grand entry, if you will. Uh, so let's let's outline this thing. Make sure that everything will will fit on the outline. Okay, how far back? One more, one more. Okay, let's snap these together. Awesome. Gotta remember that trick. I mean, I, I, I know about that trick for like uh, lowering foundations on boats or platform saddles and things. I just didn't ever, it never occurred to me to, to, to lay a pillar to sink a foundation on a, an actual build, especially one where it slopes and you need it sunk down here. Very interesting. And one, two, three. So now I go this direction, right? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm using stand. I'm not using any of the modified, any of the mods for these foundations. Um, because I think the stone foundations are quite sufficient for what we're trying to do. I don't think I need any fan anything fancy for that. And I kind of wanted this look, too. A little bit of server lag there. I kind of wanted this look for the foundations. I didn't need anything, you know, unique or special. And I did review. <laughs> Don't come running in here like that, You're trying to scare me. Uh, I did review the mods we have and the different uh, architecture options we have. And it looks like there's some things I, I haven't gotten pictures of them, but I've read descriptions. Some things that might actually work for the look of the lodge that we're trying to do. Um, I'd love it if there were like real log pillars, you know, I, I didn't see any of those, but those would be awesome because, uh, some of the lodges I'm thinking of have kind of, kind of pillars on the front porch that are like big logs, big round logs instead of square, square things, you know, or even, uh, stone cylinders. So there we go. This is the basic lodge foundation for my pri my primary PVE home, Right. Uh, there's going to be a deck out here, and the deck is going to be wood foundations. And the deck is going to surround the thing. And I think it's going to be a couple wide all the way around, even in the back. And then there's going to be uh, four doors. Well, one door, maybe a double door entrance up front here. Because there's a double door uh, mod piece. Uh, and then a couple of doors in the back as well. That would be kind of cool. So there's a couple of doors that I have in the back, actually. Let's go ahead and... 
Not sure exactly where I want those to be. If this is the center, I think one door here, perhaps. And one door here. We can always change our mind later, right? These are cheap to make. And I might as well just throw these doors in since I've got them here. All right. And I've got two more. Okay. And I do plan on having it be at least two stories, maybe three. Just because I like big lodges, you know. It's almost the idea that it's a, well, it's a lodge. you know. So it's essentially kind of like a hotel. So it's a, they're typically pretty big. So there's our foundation. Now we have to work on getting the rest of it built. So <laughs> it's a lot of resources. I might go take another look to see if I can find another Doty. Okay, if I'm going to tame a Doty or a beaver, I'm going to need more narcotics and stuff. So what I really need is you, Mr. Trike. Oh, compies. I hate compies so much. Are you stupid little... Oh, you know what? I'm... I got something for you, compies. I got something for you. I got an ascendant... <laughs> an ascendant sniper or whatever this is. A rifle. Ah... All right. All right, Mr. Compy. There you go. Yes. Load you up. Say hello to my little friend. Goodbye, Mr. Compy. I hate compies. <laughs> I mean, they're cute when, uh, you know, you got them on your side when you're trying to do something, though, like tame a trike. They're really annoying. There's another one. Come here, Compy. Come straight at me. You're an easier target when you come straight at me. Wow. 840. Okay. And you're both dead. What's the damage on this, <laughs> this thing again? Uh, what is that? Oh, let's bring it out here and take a look real fast. Oh, wow. 630%. I'm trying to get my weight up to 500 for all the crafting I've been doing. Might as well get some resources here. Don't want to put these to waste. And go get Mr. There. Oh, whew. that Parasaur. I thought that was a trike. Or uh, car that Carno. Okay, let's see if we can do this guy. He's a 112, which, you know, on the server we came from is a lot. Here, not so much, as you see. <laughs> One of these daydream arrows or whatever they are. Uh, and it's gone. Yawning bows with the daydream arrow, yeah. And I'm lagging because I cannot put this bow away. This is awesome. Any day now. Oh, man. That was a uh, world save lag. I don't have anywhere near enough berries to tame that. I don't have any uh, kibble yet. I have not set up my farm. I don't have eggs properly, properly for it, so... I'm going to have to go collect a few more berries and see if I can get that thing tamed up, and I'll be back. All right, our level 112 female trike is just about tamed up. She's going to be great at collecting some uh, narco berries. I mean, that's really what I'm going to have her for. So we can make more narcotics, so we can make more of our uh, fancy arrows and other darts and things that we're going to need uh, narcotics for. So as soon as she wakes up, it uh, not bad. I mean, a 112, again, <laughs> on a vanilla server at highest difficulty, that's pretty good. On this server, eh, that's pretty weak, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, what name scheme am I going to use for hmm for herbivores like her? I don't know. Right now, we're going to call her Narco because that's her her purpose. <laughs> Do I have a saddle for her? I'll put that on. I didn't need any of the uh, narcotics on her. I was able to tame her on just berries without. Any torpor fall off, well, uh, torpor falling off to the point where I needed narcotics. Let's see what her stats are. What kind of stamina does she have? That's the problem with uh, all trikes, right, is stamina. Damage is okay. I mean, for a 112, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Weight is eh. But since I'm just going to be knocking down berry bushes and only keeping the narcotics, I think we're going to be fine there. The stamina is what I'm really worried about, but she has pretty good stamina, it seems. I'm going to come over here to this side of the hill and just start whacking away and collecting as many narcotics as I, or narco berries as I can. And we'll see where we can go from there. Now, there are devices, in, I think, in this pack. I'm not sure. I've heard of them, mods, 
that can uh, uh, spoil meat really fast. Uh, so if you put uh, cooked meat in, or not cooked meat, raw meat into them, uh, they will spoil that meat up right away. So we're going to take a look and see if we can find one of those. And, oh, nice, rare flowers. And we'll be back. Well, after uh, almost giving up, I finally found two dodies, very close, well, relatively close, uh, to our base. I got a 50, I actually don't care at the level, but a one, 140 is going to be my highest one. So I think we're going to see if we can get that one's attention. Uh, let's not shoot the good arrows. Let's get his attention with uh, a zero, with a normal arrow. Yep, yeah, okay, that's got his attention. Try to come back up here, guy. I don't think he can make it the whole way. Nope. Pretty sure he can't. See if I can get a daydream. That one's going to come up too. That's fine. It's two males. Okay, that one's running. That's fine. It it'll come back. I hope. Let's see if I can just kill this one. If it's possible. How much damage can this do? I know that they'll ball up, and that's fine too. He balls up. He balled up. Perfect. At least he'll be out of the picture, right? Now, will the other one come back like dinos typically do now with the new AI? When their torpor or damage reaches certain levels. Yep, yep, he's coming. They'll run away, but they'll come back. So, a lot of people will run after them. Oh, yeah, he came back and then he turned. No, he's still coming back. Or did he ball up? Did you ball up, buddy? No, you're not balled up. I don't think. Those mammoths were fighting something over there, and I don't know exactly what. So that concerns me a bit. Doesn't look like you're balled up, buddy. Yes! Beautiful. Uh, let's throw that in there. I saw a red beacon on the way, if you want to saw what was in my inventory there. Some pieces of armor. In fact, I think I will put those on. Just so I have a little more protection here. Excellent. Now, all I have to do worry about is this guy. Waking up and seeing if he's still aggroed. Okay, I think the Dodie is just about ready to wake up. And uh, it was really nice taming right here. It's a perfect location, right? It's just as everything falls down the hill. Nothing can really come back down from up there because everything spawned already. And there were a bunch of mammoths around here taking care of anything that came along. There were a couple of saber tooth, And the mammoths took care of them. So it was a great place to tame. The trouble is going to be getting it down to the shore and back home. <laughs> we're not too far away. Uh, there we are. It's tamed up. Um, I'm going to name this, I think I'm going to name all of my worker animals, you know, the ones that actually gather resources, resource gatherers, after producers of, you know, entertainment, television, movies that I like, and so forth. So we're just, just going to start by calling this one Lucas. <laughs> all right, Lucas. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I need you exactly the way you are. Uh, let's look at your stats before we try to get you home here. Uh, not nah, 6,000. Okay, that's fine for now, I guess. Stamina, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Melee damage, yeah. Weight is pretty low. I'll definitely be pumping that so I can get you to carry more rocks. Your melee damage looks decent. I'm going to have you follow the bird. Let's go. Let's see if I can get you to come back here, actually. There you are. All right, I'm going to lead Lucas home, and we'll meet you there. All right, and we got Lucas, who got a little injured. Uh, yeah, he got a little injured. He got a lot injured. Uh, getting in a fight, a scrap with some wolves. But I whistled past him, took him into the water, and that's all <laughs> It's all she wrote. Uh, they swim so fast in the water. Hello, Oviraptor. Are you trying to get in my little temporary little construction area? Not going to happen. All right. Yeah, he's kind of slow. <laughs> you know, for this server, not that high. Uh, being at only level 209, but still not bad, not bad at all uh, for what we not want here, which is just to collect some rocks. So let's see what we do here. 648, oh my gosh. So much faster than I was doing by hand. And once he levels up, we'll get even more weight. So anyway, folks, that's going to be pretty much the end here. Appreciate you uh, checking out, as usual, these videos. I really enjoy it. Check out the links of the other uh, people on the server down there, too, and give them a look and give them a like and a sub if you if you want. I'll catch you next time. 
Bye-bye.